Here we are looking at GDSM. This is the daily chart. Been a while since the last time I did it. Can't quite remember when, to be honest, but uh, got a couple of requests on it today and pulling up the chart. Uh, looks like this could be the beginning, hopefully, of uh, a bigger move, and hopefully your history doesn't repeat itself, and I'll explain what I mean by that here in a second. But uh, overall, very interesting chart uh, taking shape here. And before I even really begin with the analysis, great example here of um, how you want to see a chart act in regards to you know key levels of support in particular the moving averages right here you can see at this purple line the 50 day cent moving average and as any textbook would tell you uh, this is one of the key areas of support within the world of charting and sure enough you can see um, that every time the price has gotten close to it including basically today and uh, all the days this week it has been holding strong as support and now today we're seeing some upwards move it so uh, hopefully this is the beginning of a bigger bounce. The other thing I noticed is if you use the uh, moving average here as a trend line and then come here and draw down here, we had a symmetrical triangle pattern. So this was definitely a breakout on that. But I just hesitate to get too excited about that just because there wasn't any sort of significant volume increase. So while there has been a breakout here from this trend line, uh, the lack of volume on that, uh, you know, it's a good thing, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, it, it doesn't have me jumping up and down excited either. Uh, but it's definitely a good start. You know, all breakouts have to start somewhere. Uh, but in an ideal situation, uh, you know, I'd, I would have liked to see bigger volume. But uh, the point being, we've seen a bounce here from this moving average now, and we'll see what happens, you know, this upcoming, I guess, tomorrow and then next week since the market's closed on Friday. But I guess I kind of already answered what the key level of support is. That being the 50 days don't move an average. So uh, as I've already pointed out, this area is going to be the important area of support. Uh, in terms of resistance levels, we have broken out from that trend line. So that's a good start. But like I said, the lack of volume, uh, we'll have some other areas to keep our eye on. And in particular, the key level of resistance that I'm looking at right now is at 0.012. So I'll change that here to red. The reason that is a level of resistance as you look back here we had a high there where it was like that and then another high over here so 0.012 is going to be one level and then the next level not too far away so you I guess you could even call this a resistance zone if you wanted to but the top portion of this zone if we want to just call it that is going to be right up here at uh, 0.014 so basically between 0.012 and 0.014 is our resistance zone but you can see with the break of that, uh, the resistance levels then really begin to thin out. So the price could really get moving uh, quickly like it has in the past. Uh, so these, this will be the area to, to watch in terms of, um, you know, resistance and how strong this bounce is. You know, this bounce got started here, but it, you know, ran out of gas pretty quick. So this will be kind of a good gauge level um, in terms of gauging how strong uh, this current move upwards is. You know, if it comes up here and just busts through it, then obviously, the, you know, this was, you know, a true genuinely strong move. Uh, so use this level as kind of a thermometer to kind of take the temperature of how hot exactly this move is. So if there are any other questions on the chart right now, please let me know. If not, I'd encourage you to check out BullWarriorStocks.com. If you go there and sign up for the free newsletter, you'll be sent a free ebook. And with your newsletter subscription, you'll get charts set up, straight ideas, educational pieces, all sorts of things from big boards on to penny stocks. So there's a good variety of something for everybody. It is all free. We've been making some good money together on alerts. So I'd encourage you to go to the website, sign up, and see what it's all about. One more time, this was GDSM. Thanks for listening.